Hello YouTube, welcome back to the MTR Fab channel. And this week we're going to talk badly about our friends in red. Our Milwaukee Tool friends have failed us. And we want to show you how and why we don't like this. This Rover uh, LED light here. So there's some things that Milwaukee does really well, most of them in fact, um, but this is an example of something, um, you know, could be better for sure. This right here is an example of something Milwaukee has done in recent times that's just not very good. And it's alright, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's just not very good. Uh, $59.99, it's about 60 bucks for this pretty much no matter where you see it. Obviously, you could probably find it on sale once in a while, but that's, I think, the retail price. This is a Milwaukee Rover USB rechargeable pocket floodlight. They claim this is 445 lumens, and uh, this is a model number 2112-21. I've actually had this for a while. I bought it at the same time that I bought this headlamp. And if you guys haven't seen my video about this headlamp, please check the channel out. And uh, I have nothing but good things to say about this headlamp. And part of the reason why I like this headlamp so much is I ended up using it uh, quite a bit more than I do this uh, flood lamp thing. And part of the reason why I ended up using it more is because it's just more convenient to have uh, the headlamp on and this thing is pretty awkward and some of the features that Milwaukee touts are just plain not very good uh, so they go out of their way to show you you know that this is magnetic and um, it's just not very magnetic I mean it literally won't stick uh, to really anything um, you can hang this thing upside down I mean look you can get a bigger piece of metal on a flat surface and if everything's perfect it'll hold itself there but anything beyond perfect scenario and it's not uh, same thing with the end it'll stand on the end uh, you know no problem like this you hang it out like uh, by the end on a refrigerator it'll stay there but if you breathe on it it's gonna fall off so pretty much every time I use this magnet in one way shape or form it failed and then uh, a lot of times when it would fall, it would get bumped and this cover would open up and you pick it up and you might not realize it for a minute and and or you'd go to put it back in your pocket you realize the cover has been popped off. Um, so the, the, the things I can say that are really good about it are the, the light output is amazing and that's never been a problem. And, uh, you know, I guess the only other gripe would be there's only two settings. It's like a high and a low. And that's it. Um, the light output is pretty good. It's definitely a flood, you know, like uh, the description suits it. Um, you know, I think that's fair. Whether it has 445 lumens, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not the lumen guy. Um, but I the other thing I do like about it is it carries the same Milwaukee... Um, red lithium usb batteries here and you know if you go online and you kind of poke around there's a lot of people who don't seem to like these batteries i do i think it's a better better solution than double a batteries any day uh or triple a batteries um which is what most you know kind of handheld flashlights that use consumable batteries these are uh nice and rechargeable and happens that i have gloves that use them and I have the headlamp that uses them. So it's nice to have these batteries around. They do work good. They are kind of picky when you compare them to other batteries. You know, there's a lot of people who talk about the red, green, red, green. Uh, I get that error sometimes. You just unplug it, replug it in, and it'll go eventually. Um, now, we've talked about what I do like about it is the output. The What I don't like about it is the magnet. The clip is great, but honestly, if you look into any reviews, pretty much everybody says this thing breaks off if you use it. So I've just like barely use it. It's it's okay if you're gonna put it on your belt uh, where you might have some support 
against it, um, but I wouldn't hang it from a pocket where it might get snagged because uh, it sounds like that's the way a lot of people either drop them and break this off or just, you know, get snagged on something and, and actually break it off. Um, so the durability of this, not, not just from my experience, uh, but from reviews I've read, people aren't impressed with that part of it. Um, there's also, one of the things I've never really liked about it is it, it just doesn't seem to set anywhere really well other than face down. You know, so when you put this thing down, it's like, yeah, it, it's kind of handy because it broadcasts the light up, but at the same rate, if you put this on uh, an appliance in a basement, you know, that's vibrating in any sort, it, it'll just walk away and hit the floor and then, you know, the cover falls off and you get to put the light back together. Um, so I don't use this a lot. It's not my favorite Milwaukee tool. I think it's a great idea. I think the form factor is all right. I think they failed on the magnets. You know, they got to do better there. And I think they failed on the clip uh, setup just for durability. I'd like to see something rubber coated. If this hits a customer's floor, you know, in, in their house, it's, it's putting a dent in it. All right, so this is a thumbs down from me. You must have one, go get it, try it yourself. So I'm sure there's got to be somebody out there who loves this thing. And uh, if you do, tell me what you love about it. Um, I'm definitely not a big fan. Alright, if you disagree, put it in the comments. Let me know. Alright everyone, that's it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If uh, you'd like these tool reviews. Please come on back, check the channel out, and uh, we'll see you next week. I'm out.